So, John, just show you two years since Grassman were out with you with the Pluto Correct. machine. And that time you had only one machine, you had just taken over the franchise. To go to the franchise and we have the first working machine in Scotland. Um, two years later, we are now up to eight new pluggers out in the area working. Um, working very well, getting a good report back um, and delighted with the machines. Uh, this particular machine behind us, this is the flagship. This is the biggest machine in the range, is it? This is the biggest one you can get. Uh, this has a six-man picking table in the back, or six-person picking table in the back, uh, and also a front topper as well. This machine is uh, slightly bigger than the machine that you sold first, is it? Yeah, the, the, the basics of the machine is the same as the other one that we put out, the first one that we put out, but this one has the additional picking table in the back, which adds an extra three metres out the back of the machine, uh, as well as a topper on the front. Um, to treat home at the front and that adds another three meters on the front so yeah it's uh, one of the biggest ones you can get and this machine is obviously a four row machine yes out of the ones you've sold the ones you have working in scotland at the minute are they all four rows they are all four row machines that's all all the build is a four row machine okay so uh, blue only offered a four row machine. Only for the four row machine um and in the emerging market it seems to be more and more people going that direction just to try and keep costs down as much as possible on the farm and the customers that are buying these machines, are they coming from uh, trail machines or are they moving from other manufacturers? There's a little bit of both going on there. Um, one or two of them have been from trailed harvesters moving on to the big four of Sepapel, which is a massive jump. Like what uh, Alex, the driver here, the grandson is, he's moved on to the, a big jump from a trail to a four row set propelled. Some of the other guys have moved from set propelled two row to four row set propelled. Um, but, um, in general, it's just a way of getting more efficientness out of the business uh, due to lack of staff. We are in, uh, we're in the middle of Fife at the minute, uh, and this customer is a new customer to our, us this year, uh, Milton Farms. They are three generations working on the same farm. They came to us with the, the view to looking at bigger machine to be more efficient. Uh, we went through all the procedures with the customer, uh, and the purchased the machine off us uh, and they are almost finished now for the season and delighted with the machine. It's working very, very well for them. And this picking table on the back? Yeah. Six people in the picking table? It's a six person uh, picking table on the back. It's something that the other manufacturers can't offer. Uh, we can put a full six person picking table on the back. As an option, you can actually put two people up on top or you can put the option of the big picking table on the back uh, yeah. and it will comfortably take six people in the back. This machine with the picking table and the brackets and the mounts, how wide is it? Right, okay, well standard standard machine is four meters wide. When you put the picking table on the back, it adds an extra uh, 200 millimeters, 100 millimeters either side. And that is purely because it's braced to the rest of the machine because of the overhang on the back. So for strength and reliability, it's braced on the back. So 4.2 in total for width. And height, it's about four metres, is it? Four metres tall, yeah, four metres tall. Uh, the elevator goes up when you're in field uh, for filling the bunker, but for travel, it's four metres tall. And then you also have the added bonus that when you're transporting it, the cab slides forward and the elevator actually swings around and tucks in behind. So you, the cab is at the front of the machine for transport, so you can see where you're going. Swings around in that position for working. Oh, so, right, yeah. okay. So going forward then with the franchise Pluger, where do you see it going? Do you see yourself really taking over the potato, <laughs> the potato harvester uh, side yeah. of things around here? Um, I would say if it continues to go the way it is, then I would say we've got a good shout uh, going forward. We still have people that are interested in the machine, whether it be new, second hand. We try and source whatever we can to, to get the customer going. More and more people are now looking at the four row as an option. Uh, size is the only downside for manoeuvrability to get to fields, um, but if you can overcome that, which most people seem to be able to do, then it's not an issue. And yeah, it, after, after, after a couple of days of Scottish roads, I, I, I can see how the machine will be awkward <laughs> in places. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, you have got to just be careful, especially if there's a lot of rented land. Um, a lot of people have just got to watch where they pick their fields to make sure that that machine can get in but we've never had any restrictions so far. We've managed it so far. So you were saying there that there is 
people coming from other unnamed manufacturers. But uh, pre Pluger franchise, you had the franchise of a rival manufacturer. We did, yeah, we had that for 20 years, yeah. Yep. Have you got some customers to swap sides, to jump to the other side of the fence? There's, there's a few have uh, moved over, yeah. Um, it's just natural progression. Uh, you're it's, you're it's going customers. out there, you're telling them the grass is greener at the other side. <laughs> Seems to be a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have a lot of customers that we've dealt with over the years. Um, loyal customers, and they've stayed with us. They've looked at what we've, we've bought into the marketplace to replace what we existingly had, and they're, they're more than happy to, to work with us. And uh, as I say, the ones that have got them are delighted with them. Long may that continue. What is the story with the Topper? Like, is that like a... Like the organize like the Pluger supply that with the machine, or the, is that the Topper is uh, a well-known brand called Basilier, uh, made in Holland as well, and had made about an hour's journey down the road from where the Pluger factory is. Um, they build it, then they undercoat it, and then it's transported to the Pluger factory. Pluger factory then paint it in their colours to match him with the rest of the machine. The machine itself, the word Pluger is just a way to be changed uh, and they're now going to be known as Oxbow and okay. Oxbow is just another subsidiary of Pluger but it's also a well-known brand out in the States, uh, Canada so they're going to rename it all under the one banner so it'll all be known as uh, Oxbow from 2023 onwards. All right okay. Right John well thanks for having us out for a, a quick catch up while we were in the area. No problem whatsoever. And Look, hopefully the franchise continues to go from strength to strength for you and hopefully we're back in another couple of years maybe and you'll have twice as many machines again <laughs> sold around the country. You're more than welcome, yeah. Thanks very much for having us.